sinister stories. On a clear Halloween afternoon in the town of Crescent Hills, everyone was preparing for an evening of festive activities. Neighbors were adding finishing touches to their spooky decorations, children were donning their costumes, and parents readied themselves to distribute an abundance of candy to all those in the Halloween spirit. However, five friends had recently crossed that threshold from happy trick-or-treaters to young adults who deemed themselves too old for the evening's activities. Last year, these same boys had ventured out for Halloween treats, but much can change in a year. The group's leader, Daryl, now initiated a different mission, one rooted in terrorizing those he perceived as weaker than himself. These boys found their kicks in harassing young trick-or-treaters, snatching their bags of delectable sweets, hurling eggs at passing cars, and tormenting those who couldn't defend themselves, dousing them with shaving cream. Their Halloween night had transformed into a rampage, a reign of terror that forced them to flee from adults who threatened to call the police. As they roamed through the neighborhood, the surroundings began to blur, and soon, not one of them recognized their surroundings. They couldn't find a single street sign, and the houses remained dark, devoid of the Halloween decorations they'd grown accustomed to. As they ventured deeper into the unfamiliar territory, the streetlights grew scarcer, casting eerie shadows and creating a foreboding atmosphere. Their disorientation led to uncertainty, and the friends looked to Daryl for guidance. He urged them to keep walking, assuring them that eventually they'd find an area they recognized. Hours passed, and the sense of despair settled in. The boys were on the verge of giving up when, in the distance, Daryl spotted a group of children in costumes. Invigorated by the sight of something familiar, they sprinted toward the little trick-or-treaters. In a sudden rush, they found themselves in a bustling area filled with children in all sorts of costumes, clutching bags and plastic pumpkins filled with candy. Daryl couldn't help but laugh as he instinctively grabbed a bag from one of the children, but their joy was short-lived. They realized they were now surrounded by these children in their eerie costumes. Daryl, initially laughing, joined the circle of his friends as they became entrapped by the little costumed figures. With a growing sense of dread, the boys turned to the leader of the odd children. Hey, what's your deal? Are you lost or something? He asked with feigned confidence, trying to mask the trepidation in his voice. No response. The masked children remained eerily silent as they continued to follow the boys' gazes, their dead eyes hidden behind those haunting masks. Daryl's bravado began to falter. This isn't funny, guys. In the midst of their fear, Daryl tried to bully his way through the children until he felt a sharp pain in his arm, as if it had been sliced. He leaped back in shock, a frightened leader who no longer had control. The other boys began to panic, and one decided to fling all the candy from the bags into the air, creating a distraction. As the children in costume scrambled for the scattered treats, the boys seized the opportunity to run. They sprinted as fast as they could, but when they glanced back, the children were still there, steadily advancing, even though they weren't running. Desperate, the boys ducked into a dimly lit yard. They gasped for breath, cold sweat drenching their foreheads. Fearful, they whispered to one another, debating their options and how they'd managed to get lost in this nightmare. The motion sensor lights began flickering on, revealing several of the children waiting for them. The boys realized they could likely evade a few children until the lights turned off. They waited in silence for the darkness to conceal their escape. Then, as the lights blinked back to life, they found themselves surrounded by dozens of children, each holding a different weapon. Knives, axes, spears, hammers, all poised for a sinister purpose. Tears streamed down their faces as they pleaded for mercy. But the little figures, with their weapons glinting in the faint light, remained steadfast. The children in costumes began to slowly approach the boys, each with dead through their masks. The boys, driven to desperation, attempted to flee through a hole in the fence. Yet, as they ran, each time they looked back, the children still stood there, weapons in hand. Their heartbeat quickened, and they quickened their pace, now running through the residential maze. But no matter where they turned, those mysterious, silent figures stayed just behind them, their footsteps resounding like a synchronized ritual. They stumbled into a park shrouded in darkness. The only illumination came from the eerie moonlight. 
On a whim, Daryl glanced at his phone. No signal, no GPS. They were truly isolated, with no way to call for help. They heard the rustling of the wind and the clanging of the swings bumping into themselves. Hoping for a moment to catch their breath, the children were once again almost surrounding the boys. But this time it seemed as if there were even more children with weapons of death. The boys unable to take moment. The boys ran and ran until they finally stopped and found themselves back in their familiar neighborhood. Streets were bustling with children and their parents, all engaged in the joyful tradition of trick-or-treating. It was as though no time had passed. They stood there, eyes scanning the environment, and then finally realized they were safe. The hostile children with weapons were gone, and more importantly, they saw street signs. Yet they couldn't comprehend what had transpired. They moved on in silence, with a newfound outlook, no longer tormenting the young and vulnerable. They chose to help, encourage, and became responsible citizens, forever haunted by the lost neighborhood they hoped never to encounter again. The tale serves as a cautionary reminder that the pursuit of power and cruelty can lead to unforeseen and terrifying consequences. And sometimes the fear of the unknown can transform individuals and change their lives forever.